we've got a little bit of news, a little bit of West Ham news and gossip for you today in the build-up to the game. Uh, at, what, what do they call it? New White Hart Lane, the Tottenham Hotspur? Might just be the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, the Kazi, as a lot of us call it. That, that stadium that Mikel Antonio did, that famous celebration where he sort of perched down and, and took a, a Donald Trump on the pitch, if you know what I mean. Um, Right, what have we got for the news for today? Well, we'll get to that, that team stuff and uh, looking ahead to this evening's game in just a moment because I, I am a little bit optimistic. I, I don't know, maybe, I just, uh, maybe I've had too much Christmas sherry. Uh, what about that? Uh, let's deal with the Pablo Fornell situation first because that's a uh, situation that's a little bit interesting, really. His contract was due to expire at the end of this season. The club have activated a clause. We discussed it yesterday, which is a, a one-year contract extension. Not only did they do that, the club have confirmed that the reason they've done it is to safeguard their asset because they want to get some money for him. I sort of don't blame them. Well, not so, I sort of don't blame them. I understand why they would have done it. Uh, but it just... I think in many respects goes to show you that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And it often does make me wonder uh, what's happening in the way we sort of hemorrhage money with players and, and some of the losses that we've made. We know Sevilla are interested and I think this is a, a case of trying to pry some money out of them. It, the price tag's weird. Eight to 12 million. I mean, that, that's a weird one, isn't it? I mean, that's really weird. Look, hey, look. I've got a memory stick here, right? If you wanted to buy this, this USB memory stick and I was to say to you, you can buy that for between one and four pounds and you really wanted it, what are you going to offer? You're going to offer me a pound because you know I'll accept it. You're not going to say, oh, do you know what? Thanks very much. I'll take that for four. And, and this, this is a really weird one. Eight to 12 million is, <laughs> is the price. So I guess eight million it is though. Look. Let's be perfectly honest here. Sevilla probably know if they come in and get him and bid five, six million, they're probably going to get him. I'm not sure Pablo Fornells is thrilled with this. He, because he's being asked to stay around for another year if things don't work out. A year on top, which is basically 18 months from now. And a club where he's not wanted. Um, he's not, the manager doesn't need him. He probably feels that, to a large extent, the last three years at West Ham... Uh, have been a bit of a waste of time, really. It's been a bit of a failed transfer as far as he's concerned. He's a great guy. He's got a great attitude. And I think he's loved a lot of his time at West Ham. But I think even for now, he's, he's very positive, very bubbly, very bouncy. Um, so you hear the last person out of training. I think even, even he would say as much as he's sort of uh, bought into the concept of West Ham, uh, he, he probably uh, would, would prefer to go home now, bearing in mind. He ain't wanted, let's be perfectly honest. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a really interesting one. Uh, actually, before... Before I go any further, let me just tell you the deal for today. There is a hat and scarf bundle. Now, what are you thinking? What's the deal for today? The deal for today is for eight days. We're calling it Hammers Chat, eight days of Christmas. Go on to hammerschatstore.com. We've had the mugs, 20% off the mugs. We've had the socks. We've had the prints. And now it's a hat and scarf bundle offer. So basically, you get a hat and a scarf, both together. Bit of a discount. 24 hours only. Hammerschatstore.com. Check out the link. It's in the description Below, there you go, just just under there, just under this screen. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you somebody else we've been linked with. His name is Aidan Doherty. Uh, he plays for Linfield FC. Um, 17 years of age, left winger, can also play wing back. Uh, from, from Ireland, obviously. This is a well-trodden path for West Ham here, trying to sign young players from... Um, from the Irish leagues, basically. So uh, I think there may well be some truth in this. Apparently, he's very, very highly sought or sought after he's, he's well thought of these articles where you read this stuff always say that the article will never say West Ham are interested in in an average player so he's always the, the next best young thing and I, I, I understand that uh, it's West Ham and Brighton who are interested in the young player I always I don't know it's like a little endorsement knowing that Brighton uh, are also interested in a player because their recruitment's so good so I always think if they're interested uh, then Hopefully that's a good indicator. The story could be completely made up. Maybe just West Ham are interested and they just chuck Brighton in there. Do you remember there was a time last season when it would, it, they would always say, Crystal Palace leads and West Ham are interested in X, Y, Z. It just seemed to happen all the time. So that's that one we dealt with yesterday. Leif Davis, who is, of course, the left back from Ipswich. So I won't discuss him any further. Hopefully yesterday you saw the video. If you haven't done so, please go out and check out 
my video last night. I don't normally ask you to watch my videos. You either do or you don't. I'm delighted that you do. Absolutely buzzing that this is my job. Um, if you haven't followed the under-21s, please go and watch the video uh, from last night uh, about me talking about the under-21 team and their remarkable achievement. I won't go into any detail here apart from to say we're in the last 16, the last 16 of the EFL trophy. If you don't know why that's a big deal, go and check out yesterday's video. It's amazing, absolutely amazing what our young players have been doing this season. Um, history makers indeed. Uh, West Ham have also been linked with Leeds United Sam Greenwood, uh, who's on loan at Middlesbrough. Uh, so yeah, a bit, bit tenuous. A good player, really good player. Came from Arsenal's academy, actually, if you want it to be any more tenuous than that. Um, attacking player, good player. Um, I'm not sure I'm thrilled with the link. Look, West Ham, have, uh, Tim Steiton has been mandated with bringing in more homegrown players at West Ham next season because we're going to lose a load of them, aren't we? You know, Connor Coventry, Ben Johnson probably, uh, Aaron Cresswell, a few others. Uh, this, there's a, you have to have a, cer a certain amount, a certain quota of homegrown players. So this sort of makes sense from that point of view. All I'd say is West Ham's academy are packed full of young, talented players. And I've got, I don't even know Sam Greenwood. <laughs> Not personally, I haven't seen him play. He could be really good. I don't know. All right, what I do know is I'd be very surprised if West Ham don't have a more talented player in our academy. West Ham are, are that good. I, we really are. So good that we're being linked with these players in terms of young players. We've got loads of them. Let's give them a bloody chance. Uh, finally, uh, tonight, game uh, tonight, Premier League game. I, th I think we've got half a chance. I say half a chance. I'm not saying... We're going to win. Tottenham are favourites, and rightly so. Now, they play swashbuckling attack in football. But I think our best games under David Moyes, some of them, have been when teams actually come at us and try and play against us. And I think if David Moyes can deploy a team with the counter-attack, with a proper counter-attack and some pace up front then we stand half a chance. So hopefully you've gone and watched the preview that myself and Gio did. If you haven't watched the preview, go, go and check it out. Go back on that. I said I wanted to see uh, Maxwell Cornet, uh, Jared Bowen and Mohamed Kudus as a front three. I really do. There's a really good reason for that. I think we, we spring the counter-attack. I want to see Pakatar in the middle. And I want to see him releasing the balls to those players as well. I've also seen, if you look at the last game, Ward-Prowse, can if, he's, if he gets the opportunity, he can put an early ball forward. Uh, I want to see us, you know, we're going to soak up a lot of, attacking from Tottenham. Even if we weren't a defensive team, Tottenham would attack us a lot anyway. But I want to see us offer a threat because they're going to play a high line. We've got to get behind it. What I do think would be a killer for West Ham is if we have someone like Saeed Ben Rama who takes a touch, takes another touch, a couple, couple of step over. That's a step over, by the way. A couple of step overs um, and then he divers and he's indecisive in terms of making that final pass into the box. Uh, so there you go. That, that's just what I think. Important game tonight. Um... We win that. We're, we're looking healthy in the Premier League. And you know what? We get one over uh, on our rivals anyway. We won't. There won't be a much better time to play Tottenham. They've got an injury crisis at the back. So I just think we should play our, our best and our fastest attackers in this game. I'll catch up with you later on.